What's up guys? Welcome back to Nick's free agency, or should I say the Leon Rose Mafia Godfather experience. Take note. We're here. Oh, I'm at Alistair. It's different this time. The Knicks busy wheeling and dealing. I've recorded three videos today. Well, two videos that I had to scrap. First one about Theo Pinson, and me and mom got on and spoke about Austin Rivers for a bit. But during each of those videos, more stuff happens. We have to scrap the video. So I'm here to run down the whole thing. We're gonna get into a more substantial video in the next couple of days. I wanna break down what the Knicks have been doing so far, how good Leon Rose has been at what he's been doing so far with the maneuvering, and what we can expect in the near future because we have 16 players right now for a 15 man roster. Now we can carry 20 guys up until camp, but we're getting to a point where a trade is definitely coming, so I wanna get into that. All right, so first news of the day, Theo Pinson in, he is a CAA guy, former Nets guy. We had him before, back when we dropped Trier a couple months ago. We actually picked up Pinson, really good team guy, a good defender, can't really shoot or do anything else, uh, but he is a fun kind of team locker room guy. Then we sign Austin Rivers on a one-year deal. Shout out to Austin Rivers, his dad, Doc, former Nick, if you remember. Now, Austin Rivers is obviously a guy that can get some buckets. He's an okay shooter. He's more of a scorer than a shooter, but I think he scored 41 in the bubble a couple months ago. So, uh, interesting player. I think I would have been more excited for this had we not re-signed Alfred Payton. Because for me, Alfred Payton, uh, Austin Rivers is going to play the one as well a little bit. And now I'm feeling like, what's the point in bringing about Alfred? But now that we've done even more, I can see that there's something coming. So Austin Rivers is in. We'll see what that turns out to be in terms of cap room. Whoa, 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 hold up. I gotta stop. The Austin Rivers deal just got announced. It is $10 million over three years. We've got Austin Rivers on $3.3 million per year. That is an incredible deal. That is an incredible deal. That is a tradable deal. Nick's front office, baby, what's going on? I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Then, just adding more to it, we trade Ed Davis, who we got from Utah for picks. So remember, we get Ed Davis in a salary dump because Utah were trying to clear money to get Jordan Clarkson and stay under the, the tax, I believe. So we get Ed Davis, they give us a pick, right? Then we take Ed Davis and we trade him to Mini. We get Spellman and we get Jacob Evans, we get picks. So Leon Rose, and I wanna bring this tweet up because Ian Begley tweeted it out. He has turned Ed Davis's arrival and departure into three second round picks. I am in love with this. This is the wheeling and dealing we want to see from a front office that's in, in a new front office and a team that's in flux. They're trying to make things work. They have flexibility to make it work. We're not just sitting on the sidelines and just signing guys to simple one-year deals. And that's why as much as I initially, I did have some you know positive feelings going into last season. When you look at it now, Steve Mills and that team last year just did not seem to understand the cap at the level that these guys do. Leon Rose, Brock Aller, these guys, Walt Perrin, these guys under understand the nuances of what's going on especially Aller. Aller's a cap uh, genius a capologist if you will so with him at the helm you're seeing these little deals and these are the kind of deals you see smarter franchises do forever and you see them and you're like oh cool 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 that's smart that's cool why not they got some value and you never see us doing this kind of stuff even draft night the fact that we were able to move up right and eventually get into just higher picks on both of our picks it's pretty crazy. So, um, Listen, there's so many little things that can happen. I just want to say I'm really proud, proud. I'm happy that the front office is uh, utilizing these deals and thinking a little bit deeper. But guys, expect a trade. I do not think we're running into the season with so many guards at both the one and the two. Because uh, right now, we have an insane amount. I think there are going to be some moves. I think I'm still hoping Randall gets traded before the season starts, but we'll see. But expect some stuff to come. Knicks are wheeling and dealing. Picks on picks on picks. Someone called them the New York picks on Reddit. I love it. So let me know what you guys think about Leon Rose and the, the Knicks maneuver mafia so far. Um, and by the time I record this, I'm sure eight more things will happen, but we'll be here to cover it. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for 5,000 subscribers. I'm going to have uh, much bigger videos coming this week. Really been appreciating the love and the feedback. Uh, we may not agree all the time, but we're all Knicks fans. We want the same thing. Take care, guys. Peace. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. And you may see me in an hour or two if something else happens.